same as the lowercase letters, we're also going to practice the uppercase letters in component-alike groups. And starting with the, the very basic ones here, we have the normal dynamic stem. Start light, get a little heavier downstroke, and then I'm ending this one in the ballpoint. Have the spiral and the wave as the roof. And there you have your T. We'll do another one. The dynamic stem starts at the ascender line, follows the slant, and then curves around, ends in a little ballpoint. And then I like the spiral and the wave to give it the cross stroke. We do want to make sure that there's space between the stem and the cross stroke up top. Let's have a look at the F. Here's one with that little pretzel contraption. And... Uh, we have the spiral and the roof up top. Nice little air there for some grace. And then the cross stroke is also a little wave. Sits at the waistline. And remember, all cross strokes are light. We never want two thick strokes to cross. So here's the F again with the ball point ending. Nice space between there and a cross stroke that is light across and adds a little down heavy doohickey on the right-hand side. And doohickey is a technical term, by the way. <laughs> For the B, we have the dynamic stem. And now it gets interesting. We have the spiral, and we want to bring it around in the oval form, and then have the second bowl also. So with the B, you want to make sure that the top bowl is smaller than the lower bowl. The top bowl, the, the, they dissect above the waist height. So this one is not quite correct. I made the top bowl a little too big. See that? We want it to be above the waistline, and we want to make sure that the roof there is super round because we're looking for that oval shape. P is very similar. You do the top and you leave it there. And again, we have the dynamic stem. You can end it ever so slightly, or you can end it in the ballpoint, like we've talked about. And this one, let's try it with the reverse kind of spiral. Also looks nice sometimes. That's where I start on the right-hand side. And that curve is a little on the flat side. So I would, the next time I make it, I would want it to look a little rounder. The R, dynamic stem, the spiral, and the coming around. And then almost a compound curve that has to follow the slant again, just making sure that everything is boxed into that 55 degree angle. So it looks similar to the other letters. And this one is actually a bit better. I mean, I don't like the round one, but the, the lower leg has a better size than the one on the left. The first R is a bit wide at the bottom. Trying that again with the other loop, like the P, and staying in the ascender space, and then coming down at the waistline. 